Welcome to London Bridge, one of Great Britain's busiest stations and one managed by the company I work for, Network Rail. Twenty twenty four is a big year for us at Network Rail because it marks the start of a new control period worth forty three and a bit billion pounds. Of course, it's more complicated than that. The actual cash amount is forty five point four billion pounds. Forty three billion pounds is just what that buys you in today's prices. Right, on with the show. But who are Network Rail and what is a control period? Do you know what Network Rail does and what a control period is? No. <laughs> no. 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 Don't know what control period is, no. Network Rail looks after the rail infrastructure Whoa. as opposed to being an operating company. But no, I don't know what your control period is. Sorry. Who are Network Rail and do you know what a control period is? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Uh, well, I would say maintain the railways, but I suppose there's quite a bit more involved than just that. No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got some explaining to do, doesn't it? Network Rail operates and maintains almost all of Great Britain's railway network. That's 20,000 miles of track. In addition to that, we operate and maintain the signalling, which tells trains where to go, and the electrical equipment that powers them too. The trains are a different matter. There's around 24,000 of them run every day, run by a mixture of freight operating companies who carry freight and train operating companies who carry passengers. And they're run by companies you may have heard of like Avanti, Great Western, or from this station, South Eastern, Southern and Thameslink. Train operating companies also lease most of the railway stations in Britain. Network Rail runs the biggest 20, including this one here. We also don't sell tickets. And of course, underpinning all that work to keep trains running are a lot of people, 40,000 of them in fact. And that costs money, which is where control periods come in. Eddie, what is a control period? Uh, we are really lucky that we're funded in five year control periods, um, and that is um, an agreement with the government for us to deliver operations, maintenance and renewals, OMNR, within that time period. What sort of thing do we do with the money, and do they, do they give us targets? So they very much do give us targets within that. Um, we are targeted to look at things like uh, performance, safety, and the level of renewals that we deliver in that period. Uh, importantly, it doesn't include enhancements, so that's funded separately. And when does the next control period start? It starts on the 1st of April 2024. And presumably finishes? On the 31st of March uh, 2029. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you. So now you know. Network Rail is the company that operates and maintains the infrastructure that trains run on, but not the trains themselves. And control period is just a term we use to describe how long Network Rail is funded for and what we've got to spend. So what are we going to be spending that £45 billion on? Well, to start with, we're going to be spending £19 billion renewing the railway. That's things like laying a new track or putting in new signals. We're also going to be spending £17 billion on the day-to-day -day operations and maintenance. And finally, £2.8 billion of that operations, maintenance and renewals budget will be going to make our railway more resilient to extreme weather. That's things like protecting the railway from flooding and landslips. Improvements in all these areas will result in a more reliable and efficient railway for our freight customers and passengers. That's you. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed watching this and maybe learned something too. I'm off to catch a train.